another false alarm No footsteps in the hall outside our room At least I'd assume Her face melts into mine The days are long but years are growing short This is gonna hurt I know where my things are, they're just not in an honest place right now. The Denton Weaver all alone in an ER bed and open gown. I don't know how. Basket service, fresh orders while her whole family's dressed in black. It never once looked back. The preacher shouts that she's been saved and she's home safe with Jesus Christ. But mom still cries. The things you see in me are things that I ain't ever really got Wish I could think that you're in heaven But I can't believe in God Don't know why not I assume you most likely just heard my cover of Funeral Song by Raccoon Tour, and I kind of just want to do a bit of a 
sort of hello from the studio where I kind of just talk about it a little bit, like go through my inspirations and stuff like that. Um, starting off, I, I wanted to take a more like tuned back piano pop approach that kind of like slowly builds throughout the song. And then it kind of just takes a moment in the middle where it gets really kind of tight and kind of almost claustrophobic in a sense. And then this massive explosion at the very end. Um, and my, my kind of thought process was almost going through it as if the song was meant to be the stages of like, of sort of like a breakdown where like you start off, it slowly builds up with a lot of emotion slowly seeping in. And then I don't know about anybody else, but when I'm having just big emotional moments, there's just this point where I kind of just try to bring everything back together and I kind of just can't hold it together for very long. So then I in inevitably just explode a little bit. Um, and then obviously there's that climax at the end where everything is just going. It's very much in your face um, and kind of just like all over the place a little bit. Um, if we're going to go through like albums or like overall like th sounds that really influenced it... I would say for the first big chunk of the song where how the regular verses, I would say that that was heavily influenced by um, an album like Inside Voices, Outside Voices by K-Play. Then that middle bit um, where it's really quiet was heavily influenced by Strange Desire by Bleachers, especially the uh, Mickey Mantle reprise in that album where... Um, I don't know what he does, but Jack Antonoff has this sort of, like, vocal effect that really kind of just creates this almost robotic sound. Um, and then the very end is heavily inspired by um, tracks off of Humbug by Arctic Monkeys with the tremolo on the guitar, the loud guitar, and kind of the overall just heavy kind of drums. Um, but yeah, um, that's ultimately the overall kind of vibe I wanted to go for. And then I think like the idea was like just kind of like this, um, it's just this like piano pop kind of version of the song instead of, you know, the original. Like I wanted to make sure that I respected the original as well as doing something different and a little bit more of my own kind of style, if you know what I'm saying. But hopefully that explains kind of my thought processes of this, and I hope that the next entry on the Summer, Summer Covers 2022 can be as good as this one turned out, in my opinion.